We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for The Walking Dead Season 5, the Comic-Con trailer that released uh, earlier today. Uh, <laughs> one thing I gotta say right off the bat about this trailer, it looks like a movie. It really does. I got like this cinematic feeling watching this trailer because of all the explosions and the uh, action, some of the good CGI and the practical effects. They really look like they've uh, put in a lot, they've invested a lot into this season. Uh, not only in, in terms of time and money, but uh, also the amount of work. And uh, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this trailer. Uh, I've, this is the first Walking Dead trailer I've seen so far that's had this much action. And um, yeah, it, lo it looks intense. Now, the first thing that interests me was it seems like we obviously see that the group's in trouble in Terminus, and, and Gareth is there, and it's clear that these guys are cannibals now. I mean, they, they show a glimpse of uh, Rick walking into a, a big room, and he looks off to the right, and there's what looks to be like some guy chopping somebody up. And then later, you see all the um, members of the group lined up, all on a knee, gagged, and behind them are two men with, like, drapes or, or whatever you want, aprons, for lack, of a better, uh, for lack of a better term. And these guys look like they're ready to butcher them. So I, I think it's, it's fair to say that that's a, more or less, it's still not officially confirmed because we haven't heard anything or seen anything yet, but uh, the evidence is clearly there in my opinion. So um, now, but also what's even more weird than that is it seems like at some point or another, at least this is the way they cut the trailer. Because again, these trailers are cut in such a way that they can make you think one thing and it's actually something completely different. But I got the impression that it looks like somehow, some way, uh, either Rick and his group talked themselves out of danger, or they show uh, Bobby giving a confession about going to Washington and getting this cure, and it looks like um, Gareth wants to kind of team up with them in some weird way. And he says, you know, you hear him in the background talking about join us. Um, you're either, you, you can join us and, and we'll go to Washington together or whatever the case may be. So that's kind of weird. That's definitely an unexpected twist uh, that I'm sure a lot of us weren't expecting. Now, again... These trailers are cut in such a way that they can lead you to believe one thing when it's actually something else. Prime example is the scene where Glenn is on his knees. It's towards the end of the trailer. And um, it looks like he's about to be chopped down. And I got to say, uh, I don't think if Glenn was really going to die this year, I don't think they'd even give a hint of it in the trailer. Now, it could be wrong. Uh, same thing with the whole Beth thing at the end, which obviously this confirms to us that we're going to go into the season with Beth alive. She seems to be with some group uh, in particular... This lady cop they showed her with for a brief moment at the end of the trailer who seems to wallop her in the head with something, maybe knock her out. Uh, maybe uh, Beth is with some group now that are very extreme about certain things and how things are run and Beth does something wrong or goes against the, the grain a little bit because she was more with a group that was a little bit more roughneck. You know, Rick and this group are roughnecks. They've, they're seasoned veterans in The Walking Dead. So perhaps she does something or makes a decision that uh, they don't take too kindly to, and, and maybe she that there's, there's some form of capital punishment for that. Uh, but it's hard to tell. It was such a quick scene. Uh, the, the exchange and dialogue really didn't give any hint as to what happened and what led to her being knocked out. I don't think it's a killing blow. It doesn't look like the lady put, picked up anything uh, lethal in terms of like a knife or, or anything. It looks like she picked something up and bludgeoned her in the head maybe to knock her out. That's what, at, le at least the way it seemed to me. Um, but, yeah, now some of the zombies, man, oh my god, did you guys see the one that looks like, uh, like, <laughs> it came out of the water, and it's all, like, its skin is all flapped up, and its tongue is hanging out, ooh, man, that's a good one, that's a new-looking zombie, and you can tell at this point how badly they're decayed, because you see them being shot with, uh, the water, uh, from the, the fire truck, the water holes, and the, the pressure from the water being shot is just ripping the zombies apart, so it looks like their, their decay is continuing to uh, uh, progress in such a way that uh, something like that can just rip them apart without a problem. But the amount of zombies looks like we're going to get uh, quite a bit more, at least, again, from the trailer. We don't really know. Uh, the, I mean, the explosions, the, the, the gun firing, all this stuff. I think also we can get an idea of now that poster of Daryl that came out a couple of weeks ago 
uh, is confirmed now, if you see in the trailer, they all seem to be gagged and lined up together over in Terminus. So, um, but it's interesting. And I, I think the trailer consists of the first half of the season, which is probably Rick and his group f being forced to join and work with the Terminus group uh, to either A, continue to live, or B, go to, go to um, Washington, D.C. Uh, there was an exchange with Gareth and what seemed to be Gareth and Rick and his group about Gareth saying something along the lines of, you don't trust me anymore. Um, I very much doubt it, it appeared he was talking to Rick from the cut of the trailer, but I doubt that that's him, that's Rick he's talking to. I think it's probably one of his members uh, in a group that's really close with him. So I don't think it was Rick. They just, they just haven't spent enough time for trust to even come up. Uh, so, but, um, yeah, I like the way the zombies look, the zombies look incredible. Uh, the action, I mean, again, this looks like, this looked like a movie trailer, uh, not even a trailer for a show. I mean, it looks incredible. Uh, you know, we could easily sit here and point out certain spots in the trailer where it looks like somebody's going to die. But again, these trailers are cut so ass backwards that you'll see a scene in the trailer you thought was one thing. And then when you actually see the season, it's something that happens in episode 15 that has nothing to do with the couple of seconds that took place before that scene in the trailer. It's just, that's just how they do it, which is very smart, very clever. So, but I'm definitely going to be watching this. I've seen it at least three times already. But I'm definitely going to watch it some more now because now, I, I, now that the trailer's here, like I told you guys, this is the time I was waiting for. Now is the point where I start going, making my more videos, uh, predictions, and stuff like that, death predictions. And uh, it's really exciting now because now we've got August and September and then the first two, roughly the first two weeks of October before the show starts, which is October 12th at 9 p.m. So, but anyway, guys, what did you think about the trailer? I thought it was fantastic. I thought it looks very action-packed, very fast-paced season. Uh, looks like a lot is riding on the line, and I'm definitely looking forward to season five, man. It looks really good. Anyway, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for The Walking Dead Season 5, the Comic-Con trailer that released uh, earlier today. Uh, <laughs> one thing I got to say right off the bat about this trailer, it looks like a movie. It really does. I got like this cinematic feeling watching this trailer because of all the explosions and the uh, action, some of the good CGI and the practical effects. They really look like they've uh, put in a lot, they've invested a lot into this season. Uh, not only in, in terms of time and money, but uh, also the amount of 